Here are a list of things I expect men to do in marriage. Number one, pay the rent, mortgage, and utilities. So that's like the rent, the water, and like the electric. You know what I'm saying? And then if we have a home, like the property tax and the mortgage insurance, all that good stuff. Number two, to do most of the cooking. I cook, but I don't really like to cook. So it's really a plus when I meet a guy who is really good at cooking. And there are actually a lot of men that are great cooks. Number three, the dishes. Um, I don't like doing the dishes, so it would be great to have a man <laughs> that just took that chore off of my hands because I don't like to do the dishes. Number four, do the laundry. And when I say do the laundry, I don't just mean like put the clothes in the wash. I mean like the whole process. Put the clothes in the wash, put the clothes in the dryer, put them up, iron what needs to be ironed, fold what needs to be fold. Like do the whole thing from A to Z. Number five, take out the trash. I don't like to take out the trash. Number six, any yard work or housework. Now, he doesn't necessarily have to like fix it. Like if there's like a broken pipe or something, like he doesn't have to fix it. But he does have to be responsible and calling whoever to make sure that it is fixed. So it's just his responsibility. Number seven, upkeep the car. So that includes any tire changes that need to be made, any oil changes that need to be made. Um, putting gases in the car, making sure the cars are washed, like the whole process of upkeeping the cars from A to Z. Um, number eight is date nights at least twice a month, but that actually goes into like any form of recreational activities. So if we're going kayaking, if we're deciding to take a camping trip, if we're deciding to go to a theme park, just at least two dates and or recreational activities per month. And number nine, an annual honeymoon. Um, I do want to be one of those couples that takes a honeymoon every year in a different location. I think that's super cute. So definitely an annual honeymoon and then a separate family vacation. Um, so that's two big trips per year. So a honeymoon and a separate family vacation. And yes, I expect for him to pay for it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments.